Welcome back, Holotable Heroes, to another Galaxy of Heroes video. In today's video, it is Freaky Friday, so therefore we shall be tackling the latest galactic challenge that CG has graced us with. Hold on to your seatbelts, ladies and gentle beans, because it's about to get rocky. The global modifier for this galactic challenge is Rebellious. Whenever an enemy or an ally attacks out of turn, they are going to be gaining a stack of Rebellious. For each stack of Rebellious that they have, they are increasing their crit chance and their crit damage. If they hit 20 stacks, they're increasing their offense by an additional 30%. It is pretty nutty. Our player modifier is endless ranks because there are benefits here for our Imperial Troopers and essentially means that our Imperial Troopers can revive up to three times. Our enemies have the one step ahead modifier and this allows them to have additional health, additional speed and they're immune to buff immunity. We won't even bother looking at the rest of that because it's not even worth it. Global feats or feats for this galactic challenge. Very, very easy. We need to win with the team of Imperial Troopers, obviously. We need to gain offense up 20 times and we need to win with an undersized squad. What that means is it's a piece of cake. Let's do this. So Imperial Troopers, we're using Via's lead with Piet, Dark, and the remaining two can basically be anything that you want that is an Imperial Trooper. I prefer Range Trooper, and the last one is really very flexible. Range Trooper gives you extra assists, extra buffs, it's all very good and juicy. There's a lot of nuance to how we win this battle though, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, stay with me if you can. You, you put the Imperial Ambition on our boy Dark Trooper, and then you hit Auto. I know it gets a bit confusing at times, but, you know, just just bear with me. It does work. I'm not sure how he's counter-attacking when nobody was actually attacking Boba Fett. But, hey, it is what it is. Ah, uh, see, this is the beauty of Dark Trooper, guys. When he attacks a person that has got daze, he has a chance to stun them. And he does daze himself on a basic, which is just... It's just bellissimo. It's perfecto. So, um, yep, he got... He got that... Uh, he got that death mark on Boba Fett. No revives for Mr. Boba Fett. Mr. Boabus Fett not having any of those revives right now. Uh, Fennec has also bit the proverbial dust. And Embo is dodging our Dark Trooper Punchy Punch bot, which is uh, never fun for us. But as you can see, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's not particularly tricky. This will get us every feat apart from the undersized feat. And I've got a very, very special trick for you when it comes to winning undersized. It's... Uh, it's, it's actually revolutionary. Nobody has ever thought of doing this before. Only, only me. I'm the only person in the world who's ever thought of this. We're going to remove one Imperial Trooper. That's the secret, guys. I'm always angry. You just remove one, and then we, we do it all again. Let's, let's put this over here. Lovely. Punchbot does punchy things. Uh, I'm going to do an AoE here. We don't actually need the TM right now. And Punchbot continues to do punchy things, and then we're going to mass assist on Boba's Fett. Ah, oh, he resisted the daze that time. That's so rude. That is so rude. I mean, Punchbot is still doing really good punchy things. Uh, let's go ahead and do a yeet. And then just, you know, do stuff and things to him. And then we'll do a little bit of this. And... Yeah, why not? We'll put... I don't know, wait a minute. The death mark isn't going to work because that Boba Fett death doesn't count as an actual death, does it? I forgot about that. I understand how mechanics and things work, guys. Oop. That was rude. Good job we're alive again. Alright. Can we please kill Boba Fett now? Thank you. And then we'll just... Yeah. Hit auto, I think, is probably for the best. Probably for the best. Fennec, will you relax? Relajada. And uh, from there it should be um, game set and, and proverbial match, as it were. Because Imperial Troopers, turns out, good team. Good team, Imperial Troopers. Oh, there's the death mark on Fennec. She comes in, she does kick us in the face, but oh, looky, looky, we're still alive. Obviously, we're losing a lot of damage output here from uh, from missing out on, on keeping our train rolling. But honestly, it doesn't seem to matter too much, does it? I mean, we could probably even put Imperial Ambition on someone other than Dark Trooper and have them focus on, say, Veers, for example, and he would still get the job done. It's uh, it, Sometimes my ingenious, it, it, it boggles my mind. I, I don't know how I come up with these crazy ideas, for these incredibly tough galactic challenges. Where would you be without me? 
and that will get everything done. And that was even a sloppy one. That's what she said. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to about do it for today's Galactic Challenge video. It was very difficult, I know, and you are so glad that you have me here to help guide you through this hard and arduous time. But until the next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace out and big love.